Sup, Virgo. Welcome back to the channel. Let's get started on a read. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. Sun, moon, rising. Uh, Venus and the North Node. Virgo, channel message. They were smelling it. So something about smelling something. Let's see. <laughs> something about a drink or I feel like this could be replenishing I'm also getting something about pouring something about being poured or I feel like something being shared we have activated earth power places lay lines and trust where you're led uh, so I feel like this could be something about um, reach or I feel like something about outpatient something about a patient I'm also getting um, something could be home based or home bound or I feel like something about uh, a cubicle I feel like something about a space I'm also getting something about an allotted time let's see Okay, so you have serendipity. So I feel like fun, having fun, or I feel like expressing this. I feel like something about expression here, Virgo. I feel like someone would like to express themselves. Let's see. The number 18 could be significant to you. Also something about a four-leaf clover, or I feel like luck. I feel like someone could be very, very lucky. Let's see. Okay, so you have gratitude so I feel like something about being grateful I also get someone could have white hair it already happened so I feel like something has already happened or I feel like something has been done I feel like something is done uh, when it comes to something I feel like something needs to be done or I feel like something is done it's just uh, your opportunity Virgo to I feel like take initiative or I feel like uh, this could be laying lines or I feel like something about tracks or I feel like verses or speaking. Let's see. I feel like something just needs to be said. That would be it. I also get revelations surrounding intellect or I feel like something about work. I'm also getting uh, this could be intel. Something about intel or conversations. I'm also getting something about judgment here. I feel like someone needs something said to them. I feel like someone uh, or someone's requesting this. I feel like someone wants you to say something to them. I also see this happening with the Three of Wands energy. Let's see. Okay, so you have the chariot card. So it could be a cancer or I feel like perseverance or I feel like the police. I feel like the cops be watching, the police be watching or I feel like someone, they want you to speak directly to them, Virgo. That's what I'm picking up on here. I feel like uh, there could be entry or something about entry here or I feel like uh, payment. There would have to be payment uh, for you to be speaking to someone or... I feel like for you to be laying lines or uh, saying something Virgo, that, that requires or I feel like that has some type of, uh, I feel like you're active Virgo in whatever it is that you may do. Or I feel like there could be something activated uh, in someone or something. I feel like it just takes like you. I feel like all they need is you. I'm, I'm getting something about a plug Virgo. I feel like you could be a plug or there could be a plug. Something about an outlet. I feel like you could be this outlet. What is the chariot card? I feel like something just has to be done or I feel like a move just has to be made. I feel like a very minor move or I feel like something is very, very minor. Something about a minor. Let's see. I'm also getting um, high when you're dealing, I feel like an addict. 
I feel like someone could be dealing with addict or I feel like an addict would like to move in your direction. I feel like this is the problem. I'm also getting something about praise, Virgo. Something about praise here. Could be when it comes to a Cancerian. But I feel this is perseverance or vehicle. I feel like something could be underway. Okay, so you have the Hierophant, Virgo. You haven't had the Hierophant in a while. So I feel like this could be commitment. I also get someone could be very committed to you. I'm also getting something about a Taurus. A Taurus person. I feel like this is more of an individual uh, rather than a material. I'm also getting... Um, Virgo, pull up. Something about pull up or pulling up or I feel like you're scrolling or pulling something up or... I feel like uh, cleaning a screen or I feel like this could be um, mirroring or tethering. Something about mirrors here. What is the Hierophant? Okay, so you have the Five of Cups. So regrets or loss or I feel like crying over investments or money or I feel like uh, money could be a thing or I feel like money could be a problem. Virgo in the current energies, that's what I'm seeing here or... I feel like something about commitments. I feel like someone's not committed. Or I feel like God could be making some type of investment into someone. You know, if we want to go there, Virgo. I feel like this could be material. God being material, I feel like God is making an investment when it comes to Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio energy, or someone's perseverance. I feel like this is uh, being watched. Three of Wands energy. I feel like this could be something that happened uh, quite some time ago, very long ago. Some time ago is what I'm picking picking up on. Something about sometimes. Or I feel like someone could be very sometimey. I also get someone's into games. What's that saying, Virgo? Like a, a sometimey ass motherfucker. Like, or I feel like... Uh, yeah, that's what I feel like it is, Virgo. Ten of Cups, sometimes. I feel like um, something about not letting the devil in, or I feel like not letting toxicity in, or I feel like something about getting rid of toxicity or the devil. So I feel like sometimes someone's wondering when they can do something, if they can do something, or how much they can do. I feel like sometimes. I feel like not a lot or not excessively. Therefore, uh, the devil could take over or take possession of whatever a pathway or I feel like whatever perseverance, I feel like uh, someone's trying to take a new route, right? And I feel like someone's doing something excessively. I feel like uh, only sometimes, I feel like that could be the answer. Sometimes, not all of the time. I feel like this could be causing conflict with commitment with the Five of Cups, with the um, Hierophant card. I'm also getting uh, something about a seed. I feel something about oral sex, oral. Or orally, I feel like something's being orally done or I feel like something needs to be said to someone. Four of Cups is in the reverse, damn. So I feel like discontentment in the reverse or I feel like someone coming out of that energy. I feel like that's not a thing for someone. That's not an energy for someone or at least you, Virgo. Cancer Pisces or Scorpio energy, I feel like someone, they just have regret. Good old regret. I feel like um, playing with God or therefore playing with commitment or I feel like this could be groups. Something about groups or corporations here. Playing with God's people. That's what I'm seeing here. Or would they call it the chosen? Something about the chosen people with the four of cups in the reverse. Let's see. Okay, so you have the world card. So I feel like destruction or reconstruction. I also get something about a return. Something about a return. I feel this could be uh, this could be investments. Virgo, Ace of Wands, energy, returning some type of energy to the sender. So I feel like someone was doing work or something about work or revelation uh, surrounding work being done on a specific group or person. I feel like it's being returned. I feel like someone's not smart. Five of Cups. Someone regrets this. I feel like if they would have stuck with their commitment or if it was always Bible, 
they wouldn't be sitting in this energy here, this five of cups. If they're committed as they say they are, I feel like there would no no need for this. There would be no need for this. Or I feel like it's no need. It's not necessary for someone to be operating the way they're operating or doing the things that they're doing or speaking how they're speaking. I feel like it's unnecessary. I feel like someone's not upset. I feel like someone's trying to make someone else upset. They're not upset. This is demonstration uh, by God. Something about followers. The three of wands and the chariot. Crossover go something about the human body. Now, Virgo, I'm speaking directly to you. Something about the human body. I feel like following suit. Uh, I think you rule the gut, so therefore everything that you put into your body or you consume, I feel like uh, the rest of the body, therefore the other uh, astrological signs would follow suit. So do you have followers? Do you have people who are interested in what you're saying? Or do you have people who are, uh, let's say, Virgo, stealing your work? Do you have revelation that someone's stealing your work or your intel or conversation and sharing it as their own? I feel like that would be more of God's work. Or I feel like we're going to, uh, something about being at the top of the food chain. You could know this. Or this could be heavy burden placed upon you, Virgo, when it comes to God's source. The Chosen with the Ace of Wands. Let's see. Okay, so you have the Nine of Swords. So, Virgo, something about air energy. It's in the reverse, okay? So I feel like something is not to be worried about. There's no need to worry. There's no need to stress or have any anxiety. Four of Cups and you have the Nine of Swords. Something about a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio energy. Something about this person's feet or feet or movement or where someone moves to. I feel like where someone goes. Or this could be travel. I feel like, uh, Virgo, something about being a messenger. I feel like you're sharing your sound. Let's see. Okay, so you have the death card. So I feel like fake energy or I feel like something about a virus. I'm also getting something about a viral load or games, or I feel like someone's mad. I feel like someone's committed to the wrong things. I get Virgo, really, someone's committed to death. So it's like, it's not much that you have to do with the death card here. I feel like uh, whatever someone does, you can tell that they're committed to dying. If you smoke all day, you are committed to dying. If you do drugs all day, you're committed to dying. If you put toxic foods and waste in your colon, you're committed to dying. If you fuck with chosen people, you're committed to dying. If you're fucking with someone who, who've tried to help you or who's helping you, you're committed to dying. Like, it's like, what else? The Ace of Cups energy. You have the Two of Swords. So I feel like something about creativity or indecisiveness when it comes to genuinity or I feel like being uh, genuine here. Something about being genuine. I feel like someone's closed off to it, period. I feel like whoever you're dealing with, these are not chosen people. These are not people of God. Or I feel like these people, they don't know God. So ignorance is what I'm picking up on here with the Nine of Pentacles energy and the Ace of Cups. Something about replenishing. I feel like someone needs to take a shower, a spiritual bath, or I feel like something about drinking water. I feel like this person does not even drink water. I feel like someone's not even committed to water intake, or I feel like bathing, or something like that. Or I feel like someone could be very confused on God. It's more of a material. It's, it's more of a everything you touch and you, you know, you utilize the banks, your money, <laughs> how you make your money, 
how you accumulate your money. So let's see. Okay, so you have the page of swords in the reverse, followed by the nine of wands. So I feel like someone knows better. I'm also getting uh, some challenging information or news, a very, very challenging conversation, or I feel like this could be a shared Virgo with the Page of Swords. I feel like um, someone's not slow or someone's not dumb. I feel like someone plays dumb, but they're not really dumb. The Nine of Wands, there could be windows to a situation, or I feel like something about challenging or um, taking a hit. I feel like someone's not expecting to take a hit. No, no. I feel like this is a, a global movement or I feel like this is a God movement. I feel like everyone could take a hit. This could be visible on platforms. With the death card, this could be viral when it comes to groups, corporations, markets, or I feel like something about uh, places or I feel like um, this could be jobs. The Nine of Wands energy, someone is threatened. I feel like this is because someone doesn't have anything to do or any commitment. I feel like someone's not committed to something. So obviously they're threatened. With the Eight of Wands, I feel like this could be communication. And the Queen of Wands, I'm also getting a attraction. I feel like someone's attracted to you or I feel like someone wants a conversation here, Virgo. I feel like someone would like to explain how committed they are to you or their commitments? I feel like that could be the question. Like, what are you committed to? What is a motherfucker committed to? I feel like there could be significant results or replenishing once that question is asked. I feel like someone's not demonstrating properly. So there's no change or movement. Motherfuckers is stuck. Worrying about a past love past traumas, the Nine of Wands, that's trauma. The Page of Swords and the Nine of Swords is in reverse. The Four of Cups is in reverse. That's coming out of discontentment, coming out of that anxiety, that worry, that reprobate energy. When you spy on someone, you're looking for something. You're looking to be taught something. When you're watching someone, you're looking for information willingly or unwillingly you're going to pick up on something that could be shared genuinely type of energy so i feel like someone's sharing poorly or i feel like someone they don't know what to share or someone's truly fucked up with the nine of wands energy i feel like traumatized a traumatized individual a cancer someone's very very delusional Five of Cups? I feel like someone's delusional about a group. Or delusional over a group. All while you're happy. So I feel like this could be something that you do, Virgo. Someone's delusional over this. Or people. What I really pick up on is Virgo, something about sowing seeds in God. I feel like God could be very, very upset. Very upset, which could be bringing harsh or traumatic uh, experiences with the death card and transformation currently, uh, Virgo, across. Uh, this could be nations or I feel like groups, specific groups. This could be astrologically, normally with the gratitude card here. It's astrologically or I feel like something on Earth of the Pleiades, activated earth, power places. So the ethers, the heavens, ten of cups, death. Let's see. Okay, the knight of swords in the reverse. So I feel like something is not gossip with the justice card here, Virgo. Something is not just not gossip. Excuse me, Virgo. Something about uh, justice as well. Someone's not getting justice, or I feel like someone. Um, something about truth coming out. I feel like that's not hearsay. That's not gossip. Something is the truth is facts. Uh, justice card. I feel like truth, or 
you will receive justice Virgo when it comes to a multitude of things I see love this could be window so this could be very different for many of you guys with the chariot card there could be perseverance uh, when it comes to God's source Virgo uh, no need to cry over spilled milk or I feel like this could be material you guys <laughs> Virgo I know you're very focused on your material so I feel like there could be um, success or transition when it comes to that the justice card I feel like someone uh someone's not as cold as they say justice something about a Libra I don't think they that cold hmm. seven of Pentacles I don't think they that cold or I feel like someone could be seeing eye to eye with some type of um cold energy the seven of Pentacles investments that's what I'm seeing here sowing seeds um or being committed uh, to God and using discernment more wisely uh, when it comes to this person Aries Leo or Sagittarius or Libra energy someone's threatened I feel like this has everything to do with the perseverance Virgo, this is what I'm getting make sure you like subscribe check my description box so you guys can book a personal and Virgo I do hope this serves you well I'll give it to you later take care